Church fathers told me, glad that you made it. Mother Mary must have guided you. And I was thinking to myself, what? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, first and foremost, thank you everybody that reached out after my last video. It was absolutely beautiful to see. We had many atheists, we had new agers, we had Jews even, Masonic Jews if I remember correctly. And moreover, we had many Muslims of course in the comments section. It was absolutely beautiful to see a very interesting exchange of ideas. Of course, we had many haters as well. And let me address you quickly. You guys are really like the Pharisees, man. That text said that. That book said that. Eh, you're not a Christian. I still identify as a Christian. However, I do have issues with certain practices within the church and with certain practices that people do practice to this very day. However, as I said already, I'm not here to debunk orthodoxy. If you agree with everything within orthodoxy, that is amazing, beautiful, this is your path, go it straight, done deal. However, I'm always honest, I cannot pretend to believe something if I do not. I am still identified as a Christian. However, there are three things within orthodoxy that simply didn't resonate with me any longer. Guys, if you followed this channel, you know, I went to Mount Athos. Mount Athos is essentially the Mecca of Orthodoxy, if you will. It was over there that I participated in church service three times daily. I really got to know the Orthodox tradition. However, three major things of Orthodoxy simply didn't connect with me, didn't connect with my soul, if you will. The first and foremost, kissing icons. I already know about kissing icons because I grew up in an orthodox household and therefore I saw my mother do it, kissing the icons in church. It never made any sense to me and it still doesn't. I forced myself kissing the icons but it simply felt wrong. That's all I can say. It felt completely wrong. It felt inauthentic. I made myself do it. In later church services on Mount Athos, I even just gestured like this with a distance that I kissed the icon just to do it because it felt inauthentic. I don't want to be inauthentic in church if it doesn't sit right with my heart. It simply didn't. It felt as if I was worshipping those icons. And of course, I know, we Orthodox, we are not worshipping the icons, we are venerating the icons. But guys, if you kiss those icons, that is worship in my book. I cannot see it any other way. Otherwise, again, I would have to pretend that I do not see it that way. Another thing was kissing the hand of the priest. That felt so cultish, so guru-like to me. Similar to Osho and all the other Indian cults. Why would I worship, yet again, another man? Now we would say, no, we're not worshipping here. We are simply respecting the elders. But I can respect a man by shaking his hand. I don't have to kiss his hand. I never did that. Even on Mount Athos, I gestured like this, but I never actually kissed the hand of the priest because that simply is not me. Not at all. I couldn't make myself do it. It would be wrong in front of God because I wouldn't be congruent in front of of God. Number three, and this is the last major issue that I had, but I'm going to talk about minor discrepancies as well. The third and the last one is eating from the same spoon as 20 other guys and saying that that bread on the spoon is the flesh of Christ and the wine is the blood of Christ. As I said, kissing the hand already felt cultish, but this cemented it for me. I took part in the Holy Eucharist, but I couldn't believe it. Oftentimes I would find myself within the ceremony and asking myself, hmm, was the bread and the wine maybe something else back in the day? Maybe a mushroom, who knows? 
Honestly, I was asking myself, was it really just bread and wine? And now supposedly the bread and the wine is really the flesh of Christ. Not only symbolically, but really the flesh of Christ for us. I mean, obviously, it was just bread and wine. So how can it be the flesh of Christ? I had to make myself believe that again. But ultimately, I didn't believe it. Those are the three major discrepancies. Now I'm going to talk about little discrepancies as well. For example, when I made it to Mount Athos and I went to the monastery Esfigmenu, which was an absolutely amazing holy spiritual place, the church fathers told me, glad that you made it, Mother Mary must have guided you. And I was thinking to myself, what? That feels so wrong. Why would have Mother Mary guided me? That was God, after all. That was God, all along. I was guided by God. I knew God, I had God in my heart, I experienced God. Not only during the time on Athos, but before that, after that, I was in communion with God during my silent prayers and I know controversial topic during mushroom experiences as well. I know that many religious folks don't want to hear it and I haven't touched mushrooms in over two years, but I cannot discard my experiences. During those mushroom experiences, I had many encounters with God. And even after that, in a sober state, I had encounters with God again. And God was always the perfect unity. Actually, the only perfect unity there is. There is nothing like Him. Absolutely nothing. I can say with confidence that I encountered God. That's it. I know that many won't believe it, and that is fine. This is why I always say, go and see for yourself. Many people will tell me what they believe based on another man's belief. I don't care for that at all. Zero. I want your experience. That would be interesting. Do you have an experience? We saw that with veganism especially. People talk about, show me the studies. I don't care. I really don't. I want to see how it works for you, what you do, you as an individual, what do you do, how do you eat, how do you practice, tell me about it. That is what fascinates me. I want to see real life results. Anyways, that being said, I had encounters with God. God is pure, God is holy, God is love, God is a unity, God is the absolute, absolute beauty encompassed. No division at all, no duality at all, non-dual, really amazing. And now here I was, listening to men telling me that God is a trinity. That in order to receive God, I have to eat bread and wine. In order to receive God, I should kiss icons. In order to receive God, I should kiss an old man's hand. I can't. I absolutely can't. And that's the truth. And honestly, I'm really, really happy with it. <sighs> I'm happy as I haven't been in a long time. I really mean this. Because finally I can return to my heart. And finally I can connect with my God again. And be happy and listen to God and not to other men. One last comment to the haters and then I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Honestly, guys, ask yourself, why do you care so much if somebody else has a different opinion than you? It is hilarious to me to see. It just shows how little self-respect you have. It just shows how little trust you have in yourself. It's hysterical, honestly. It is such a sign of weakness. First and foremost, if you would love your life, you wouldn't care at all what Bobby is doing here. That's it. Secondly, if you would have half a brain left, you would simply click the video off. That's that. But no, you can't. And you're not convinced in your own beliefs. That's it. Because they are not your own beliefs. You adapted beliefs from other men. And because you're not convinced of those beliefs and those convictions, you want to force them upon me. You don't even know me. For you, I'm just digital on a screen. But you want me, that digital character, to believe what you think you believe. 
This just shows how weak you are. All right, but ending this video on a positive note, again, thank you so much, everybody. It was really amazing to exchange comments with you. I'm really grateful and I'm filled with love, honestly, to have such a beautiful community on my channel. It's absolutely amazing. I love people. I really do. I love people of all walks of life. I love different religions. I love different cultures. I love different races. I just love life. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If no, leave it a thumbs down. I can see it, but most people can't see it because YouTube deactivated it. Anyways, if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box. Thank you so much for your ongoing support from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, it's amazing. And as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Yeah.